Wine Club, 9.19 p.m. Thanks for letting us know what time it is. Falcone. Good point of entry. Point of entry. All right. Let's... No. Maybe here. Where's Nikki? In lockup. Again? Christ, Kimmy. What did they pinch him for now? Some hit down at the dock. Oops. Nikki? No. I didn't think he was a hatchet man. You and me both. Well, does he got an alibi? Honey, I'm always his hey. alibi. Good to know. The white rose. Falcone's symbol. A red rose after the tonight. Tuxedo man. Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of okay. attack. Stand by. We're planning to sell early. Hmm. Mobster. And this one here is a bit. Hmm. Couple of options for taking this guy down. Okay. Oh, <gasps> 
Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! Fly away, bats. Fly away, bats. Wow. I didn't see that coming. So I guess they were friends. Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years, but after this dramatic arrest and a stunning Vicky, expose Vicky, by Gazette Vicky. reporter Vicky Vale, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises like tower the was a reassuring w. sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. That this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking hands with Carmine Falcone, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, the Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had and never will have connections to organized crime. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? The Bats. Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Waynes time in the sun is ending. Well, someone says. The suit. The car. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built! I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent Anger. people to die! If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Wow. The rage. Is that it? Looks like it's it. Well, that was a very good episode. Um, the gameplay was awesome. The storyline, it's intriguing. I mean, I haven't uh, really heard that one before where the Waynes are friends with the Falcone or uh, Mr. Falcone. But we'll see what happens in episode two. <laughs> well, this is Frank signing out. Peace out, world.